Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel doing paid review 22 QC20. And this is for my good friend Swinton. Swinton has appeared on my live streams and I'm doing a bit of a follow-up paid review. Quick wristwatch check and I am wearing today a Rolex Sky Dweller. Love the Sky Dweller. Now let's jump in here. Hi Arch, I'm sending you this email as part of my paid review. We hope you're doing well. So a bit about myself. I'm 33 years old. My wife is 35. We are a crazy, normal, whatever they call us, hardworking couple. You could say that after we got everything sorted out uh, last year, 2012, we got our house paid off, our car is paid for, I'm running my business, I'm taking over a family business to be exact, then I started to rebuild my watch collection from nothing, right, all at the worst time to buy, you could say. On my birthday, we went to the AD and I asked for an OP34 blue, black or blue, to be honest. I didn't hope for a call, really. But the SA called half an hour later that he can put me in an allocation order for me for the black dial. So I said yes with no deposit given. Sure, four and a half weeks. I got the call right before Christmas. After that, we thought, okay, let's get married. Since we have to buy rings anyhow, why not take advantage to get uh, so, some love for the watches I want. The ring was 13,000. The gold band was 900. On that day, I asked them if they can put an allocation order for my future wife's watch, a 31 mil date just steel with fluted bezel. That's the white gold fluted bezel. Gray, dark gray stick marker. So they did. Waited six months, then she got her watch. And on that day, we picked up her watch. I asked for my second watch, which was a black sub date. Two weeks passed, nothing, so I got irritated and felt like I'm about to be milked. I pulled a few strings and got to talk to the director of the AD and asked for an update for my sub. Surprisingly, next day I got the call. He pulled one for me. Then I asked for my mum's retirement watch, which was a 36 mil Explorer 1 two-tone. Since she got it, she loves it. It's a lovely watch. My mum loves it, and that's the most important thing to me. My collection consists of a 34 mil OP black dial, picked up January 2022, my everyday daily wear to work watch. A black sub-date, picked up August 22, my day off piece and going out dinner watch. My wife's collection includes a 31 mil Datejust, Rolex Datejust, fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet, dark gray dial, stick markers, picked up in July 2022. Uh, what do you think, Arch? Do we have a combo meal deal or winner winner chicken dinner? We in do enjoy our watches and we are happy and grateful to have them. I did ask the AD for a GMT root beer, but honestly, I don't even know how long. Well, I'm happy and enjoy what I have at the moment. I can't wait enough. Uh, they are going to wait until they're going to call me. P.S. I did pick up my mum's Explorer in July 22. 
This year alone, they offered me 10 watches, which I passed on. That's why I felt like I was being milked. We are not super rich uh, enough to play around with the whales. Also, uh, he wants Parif. That's right, Parif Realty to join the stream. So he's asking me some questions. Ha okay, so um, he says, he says to me, uh, how will you rate our collection? I'm not in a rush to add pieces soon, but I asked for a GMT root beer because I want to be at least a year or so. Uh, do you think it's a good idea that I ask for one of them? My long-term grail piece is a Paddock 59, oh, sorry, 5396R white dial. That's an annual calendar. Uh, kind regards, uh, Swinton. So there we go. That's from Swinton. So let me okay so this is a young guy uh lovely wife she's beautiful absolutely beautiful wife and he's going with his his collection there so um what can i say what can i say indeed there so i gotta tell you it's pretty damn he's got a really nice he tells the story uh OP34. Great watch if you're a smaller guy. But it's not really super, super. Well, it, it, it's not super, super in demand. It's 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 okay. Nothing wrong with it. But it's it's not super, 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 super. Um, the sub date. That's a good pickup. Sub date is a hard watch to get. But... You've got a relationship with the AD. You spent money. They like selling jewelry. You bought a $13,000 ring and a $900 band. Yep, I think, to be honest with you, what I would be doing if I were you, okay, so it's, I would be definitely getting some serious, you want to get serious watch from them. You don't want to muck around getting things that you can't, that aren't really worth getting. You know what I'm saying? You want the hard to get shit. So, okay, so that's how I feel. So what do I, so let's, how will you rate your collection? I actually like this little collection, three piece. He's got an OP34, which is a great everyday wearer. Smaller, you know, I, I, if you're a smaller guy, that is a absolute perfect, and this gentleman here is, from Thailand. So smaller guy, absolutely perfect. Great everyday fly under the radar oyster perpetual. Then he's got the sub date. That's a big monster. It's a monster. Monster, but it's a great watch to have. I think the sub is a great watch. Then you've got your wife. Um, she has got a 31 mil date just. It's 31 mil stick dial. Uh, steel, fluted bezel, white gold bezel, grey stick dial. Okay, that's a great piece. I think that's neutral. Is there money to be made? Probably not, but it's it's a good piece to have for your wife. So that three, how will you rate your collection? I would say your collection is a 7 out of 10. It's a 7. Uh, I'm not in a rush to add anything soon. I reckon instead of going for a root beer... I would have thought in your collection it would be perfect to have some sort of a Pepsi or a Batman. That's what I'd be asking the AD. If you've done all this legwork, you think about it. You've bought four watches because you got one for your mother, the Two-Tone Explorer 2. You've got the 34. See, none of these are super. The, besides the sub and the Explorer 2, none of these are super hype. I'd be asking for a Pepsi or a Batman. That's what I... Because that's really... You've played the AD games. You've bought all difficult stuff. People normally don't spend. Well, you've got the ring. See, normally a person would buy that ring, then they don't have any money to buy anything else. So I've got to tell you, I would be asking for a Steel GMT. That's what I'd be asking. Not an Explorer 2. I'd wanted some sort of GMT. Pepsi, Batman, Batgirl, doesn't matter. Any of those. And I, I'd, 
the root beer young guy like yourself i would stay in steel i don't think i would go for two tone you've got to okay so i'm not in a rush so i'd say in your case i'd go steel i'd go back to them and say you know what i think steel is the answer i'm a young guy i'd really like to get a steel pepsi or a batman and leave it to them that's what i would be doing because let's be honest there you've done the walk Normal person doesn't go into the AD and buy this sort of shit. You've bought 34 mil. You bought, you've got a whole family history there. They can see you're not flipping. Now, I actually, with Swinton, I gave him a phone call. We had a bit of a talk. He's not a flipper. He's bought stuff. I think he's in the running. He's really got to. This is the key component. He's built up a good sales history. He is ideal to get a Pepsi or a Batman or a Batgirl. That's what I'd be pushing for. Forget any other garbage. You want to, you've wasted your, you, you've, you've done the dance, okay? You've entered the dance. Now you get that because the reality is you did them a favor buying the ring. You did them a favor. The 34 mil OP, that was a nothing watch, okay? That was a nothing watch. The ladies' date just, okay, that's probably, you know, it's so-so. It's so-so, you know, that they're, they're not that 30. Well, it's probably a good, it's a good that, that's, that's neutral. It's a neutral sale. You didn't help them and they didn't help you. It's neutral. The sub is a gift. <clears throat> The sub is definitely a gift. The sub is a gift. No questions about that. The sub marina is a definite gift. And I would say to you, seriously, the sub is a gift. I'd be asking for that GMT. Simple as that. I'd just say, hey, I bought all the shit from you. I've done the dance. I'm not a flipper. That's what you'd want to get. And after that, after that, I'd hit them up for a... Panda, Panda or a steel, black dial Daytona in steel. That's what I'd hit them up for. Say, look, guys, I bought everything from you. I got a OP, it's your, no, just a wind and wear, my work watch. I got a sub, I got a GMT. All I need now is a chronograph. That's how I'd hit them up. That's what I'd be doing then. That's, if you can do that. You've achieved the American dream. The American dream. That's what we all want. The American dream. So well done. Thank you so much for getting a paid review. Guys, like, subscribe and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need more paid reviews <coughs> to survive without your support. I cannot survive. I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to sponsor me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can keep me full time on YouTube. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. And today guys, I wanna show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury father.time.luxury.watches father.time.luxury.watches this guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches have a look here look at this very very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle. Look at this beautiful cigar. And you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle. Look at this. Ah, what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar. So there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. 
I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.